I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. You know, I uh, did recently put out this big, uh, geez, like what, 35, 40 page paper on covenants dependence L2 systems. You know, what I mean by that is, well, first of all, when I talk about L2, I'm talking about systems such as Lightning that allow you to go trade Bitcoin. You know, we're talking about Bitcoin denominated L2 systems after all. And they have one of two properties. Either no one can basically economically perform fraud against them, or with a much more preferred option, you can always withdraw your coins on chain. Just putting it out there, that's kind of the definition we're talking about. That's why, like, lightning applies to something like, say, liquid or uh, e-cash doesn't because it's centralized. What's interesting about this is there's a lot of things that are more scalable than lightning that are coming out. And, you know, the issue with lightning, of course, is that a lightning channel needs one UTXO per channel. And if you want to go and scale lightning to, like, the entire world, you know, you need everyone who wants to be fully custodial. Um, sorry, fully self-custodial with their um, Lightning wallets and have a UTXO. And where the covenant dependent L2 system comes in is basically clever ways of having multiple users share one UTXO. So there's just less on-chain footprint. And I will say after writing that paper, I'm bullish for two interesting reasons. And the first one is that Lightning is actually pretty damn good. You know, I mean, a really interesting stat I dug up um, researching the paper was that in the entire world, there's only roughly 4 billion people with a smartphone. And it's not unlikely that the number actually goes down, given that overall birth rates are going down. You know, the developed, or at least somewhat developed world where people can afford a smartphone, that's probably going to go shrink in the future rather than increase. Um, you know, smartphone penetration, I mean, you know, it's there's a limit to how many people can have a smartphone in the world. And, you know, that that's kind of the barrier to being self-custodial. you got to have a computer. And for the average person, the, the phone is a computer. So long story short is, when you work this out, it's likely that the existing Lightning Protocol with no really fundamental changes can support something like hundreds of millions of users. That's a significant chunk of like 4 billion people. So, you know, we may, we may find that we actually scale Lightning up to basically everyone who would want to go hold Bitcoin without that much difficulty. And then secondly, in the review I did of L2 stuff, it looks like there's some protocols that are reasonable. Um, in particular, Arc uh, seems to be, you know, a protocol that's, well, it doesn't have the same properties as Lightning. It doesn't have the same properties as eCash. It has properties that can make sense in certain cases. And us getting to a point where you can run Arc on Bitcoin, being, you know, you enable check uh, template verify, and we're probably basically there. I mean, it's... It's not that much of a stretch. I mean, as it is, you can actually run a, um, a modified version of ARC where, you know, the people using it go and sign off every transaction. And that you can run on mainnet Bitcoin right now. I mean, people are actually writing this. So I guess you could say, you know, there's my uh, bullishness. It's bullish on uh, tech because we seem to have done a pretty good job of coming up with new tech yet again.